In Travis Scott's 2019 Netflix documentary Look Mom I Can Fly, in the aftermath of a particularly volatile May 2017 show at the Walmart Arkansas Music Pavilion in Rogers, Arkansas, one fan beamed at a camera crew while leaning on crutches. I survived, I survived. It's all good. They said. Following the show, Scott faced three misdemeanor charges of inciting a riot, disorderly conduct and endangering the welfare of a minor after he invited fans to overpower security and rush the stage. Scott pleaded guilty to disorderly conduct and had to pay more than $6.000 to two people injured at the show. I just hate getting arrested, man. That ass, is whack, Scott said in the documentary, upon his release from jail. Scott's talent for stirring up a young fan base with the fury of an underground punk act has long been a part of his appeal. On his 2018 song Stargazing, the rapper reveled in his crowd's heaving energy, it ain't a mosh pit if ain't no injuries. Yet the 30-year-old rapper is also one of the most successful figures in contemporary hip-hop, an endorsement-friendly business mogul in the vein of Jay-Z and Puff Daddy, and one of a handful of rap artists who can headline major festivals. His reputation as an incendiary live performer arguably exceeds his recorded music as the main driver of his current popularity. But that penchant for inspiring chaos on stage has led to troubling situations, long before Friday's Astro World crowd stampede disaster that killed eight people and left numerous concertgoers injured in Houston. Scott has twice faced criminal charges related to inciting crowds into overheated fervors. Before the incident in Arkansas, the rapper pleaded guilty in 2015 to charges of reckless conduct, after cajoling fans at Lollapalooza to climb over barricades and onto the stage with him during his show at the Chicago Festival. Everyone in a green shirt get the F, back, Scott said, referencing T. Middle finger up to security right now. He then led the crowd in a chant of We Want Rage. Scott often refers to his fans as ragers. Scott set lasted barely five minutes, whereupon he fled the scene and was soon apprehended by local police. A judge ordered him under court supervision for a year following his guilty plea, 